We get it, no dogs at any time. Yeah, I feel like they might like castrate you if you uh, bring in a dog. Hi, I'm Andrew. And I'm Dora. And we're Mr. and Mrs. K. We're a couple from New York that started this channel in 2021 to share our travel, food, and experiences. Follow us as we find new, interesting, and exciting things along the way. Boop! Boop! Hi friends! Welcome back to our channel. So this week, uh, it's actually a pretty special week. We are in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. We actually realized we've never been to New Hampshire. Yeah, it's one of the states we always like pass through. Not really, well, kind of pass through. Yeah, go bit. on the way to Maine. Yeah. But we've never actually stopped in New Hampshire uh, and checked it out. So we figured that we want to kind of cross this state off our list. So we're here at Portsmouth, New Hampshire, uh, just for the week. Um, so, uh, taking a little bit of uh, a little break. We've little been pretty break. busy for the past few weeks. Figured we need a mental health week. <laughs> just like a relaxation kind of R and R kind of week. So we figured we uh, come to a very mellow kind of area, and Portsmouth seemed really fun, dog friendly too. Because uh, that was another thing we wanted to bring waffles. So. That was a must. No, it's just uh, one of the, the things once you have a pet, you always gotta think how your trip gonna influence. Yeah. By this. How much of your dog will influence your, your trip. Uh, so we're just gonna be exploring this town for the next uh, few days or so. So come along. Really cute. Look at that bus station. It's solar panel. <laughs> hey, the dog is uh. <laughs> That's cute. Yeah, there's a lot of cute stores. But I guess they close pretty early, huh? Yeah. I mean, it's on a weekday. Yeah. Right. A lot of stores close at six, or like they close on Monday. <laughs> Today we are in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Well, we got in last night, but when we walked around the town, it was kind of, everything was kind of closed. So it was dead. Yeah, it was pretty much dead. <laughs> but it was still cool to walk around because we did see like some great architecture and, and some cool shops that we wanted to check out. So this morning we're actually gonna check out Elephantine Bakery. It's uh, supposedly a really good breakfast spot or place where you can get paid baked goods. Is that a French bakery? I don't know if it's a French bakery, but it is a bakery. Mm. So uh, we're gonna check that out. And then afterwards, we're gonna just walk around the town because it does seem real charming and it, the architecture does seem nice. And we're probably gonna go into some of the stores. So first breakfast at Elephantine Bakery, let's go. This is a really cute town, huh? It's so cute. It's actually a lot bigger than the we thought. Yeah, right? And I think this is like a really clear view of like how many stores around here. And yeah. all the architectures are just so cute. It does really remind me of Europe a little bit though. Uh, yeah, I, I, I guess I can see what you mean. Like it's look like at this aisle right here. Or this you mean the road, street? The street. Like, I can definitely see like some of the architecture is very like old, like very New England. New England, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think we're gonna go down that way. All right, let's go. It just looked like there's a lot of small shops, and they carry like different brands. It's not like you have a store from like Patagonia here. Oh yeah. But then they carry those brands. It's like a mom and pop shop. Yeah. Ireland. Iron on the square. Let's go check it out. All right. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of want to try one of these like snacks. Which one? I don't know, like a cookie. It reminds me of like Europe, you know? Yeah. Like, like in Holland? 
Yeah, it does. Hey, what is this? Hobnobs. And digestive, like does it help you digest? I doubt it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's just the name of the cookie. Queen and Queen's puppy, Corgi. Dora and Waffle, a poodle. <laughs> Why was I having so much fun in that store? I really love that store. Yeah. You're just like... It's it, super cute. There's so many different things. It's almost like there are jokes, but then like, it really let you out your rage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. that shit. Right? It's cute. So you know what I found? Mm -hmm. It's interesting that I have not found one souvenir store yet. Oh, well, that's true. Yeah, so it's like, it's like a touristy town, but not touristy because everything is local. Yeah, it's like there's no one. like I haven't found one store sell magnet yet. Yeah, it's all like very boutique, local kind of shop, mom and pop shops, huh? Yeah, and all the store owners are so I don't know if they're owners, but employees are so nice. Everyone here in general is just so nice. Just so nice. Oh, there's so many ducks. <laughs> so cute. It's a DJ duck. <laughs> Doctor duck. The beer duck. Minion duck. <laughs> Minion, Minion duck. duck. Duck and the little duck. Paris duck. Workout Paris duck. Workout duck. <laughs> Rock duck. Ooh, super cute. We're gonna go to the dog shop. Oh. How to handle this? It's just like a duck. You can't eat or play the with it. Pee on it and walk away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they've been around for 20 years. Yeah. That's impressive. Be the person your dog thinks you are. Dogs are welcome. Treats inside. I guess we're going in. We just came out of a really cute pet store called the Good Dog Gallery and we actually have Waffle pick his own toy. He picked so, a shark. Yeah, it's actually really, really cute. You see how excited Waffle is? <laughs> Look at that. He loves his little shark buddy. So he actually, we picked, so there, there was the turtle, the shark and the dinosaur. Yeah. Uh, three choices and then we put it on the ground and he went right pick up this shark. <laughs> Now he's still super excited. Yeah. All right, buddy, we'll go home right. and play with this. Yes. All right. For lunch, we went to Bob's Clam Hut, which is technically in Maine, but they've been around for 60 years, so we had no choice but to try it. This spot definitely delivered. Such delicious seafood, we have to go back. Definitely recommend it. We're here at the Kittery Outlet, and I have a few shopping ideas, I guess. I need footwear, so I'm gonna check out like, Crocs, due to Andrew's influence, even though I hate it very much. <laughs> but very, it's quite convenient. They're very comfortable and convenient. Yeah. So per my mom says, or our parent always says, it's good for a garbage takeout run. <laughs> very true. Pokemon. Pokemon. Does this light up? No, it's just a gem. <laughs> yeah, Pikachu, Charmander, Squirtle, and Bulbasaur? I don't know what to <laughs> think about it. Peanuts. Oh, they have Hogwarts, like Harry Potter. Oh, they sell like pings here. They're called gibbets. Okay, get it right. They're not pins. They're gibbets. Why do I feel like Crocs are like w way more stylish now? <laughs> they have like stylish ones, like this one. I wouldn't call it stylish. Better than like what they used to have. They have, you know. That is true. Yeah, they're kind of like weirdly in fashion now. Yeah. So Dora's gonna go with these Crocs. Oh my god. And then one for mom. <laughs> I gotta get my gibbets. Alright, relax. Oh, there's a bear. Where? 
Like this? Yeah. Isn't that a bit crazy? <laughs> And for dinner, we got clams from Robert's Main Grill. Everything here was super fresh and tasty. Check this place out if you're in Portsmouth or Kittery. The next morning, we had breakfast at Popovers on the Square. The Popover definitely like, it's very buttery. Um, the tuna is okay. okay. I mean, it's pretty fresh, but nothing stands out yeah. too much. I think just tuna and mayo. So we're here at the Prescott Park, a pretty big park that we probably should visit because I think it's one of the, it was one of the things that, that most people said we had to visit, but unfortunately... Waffle is not welcome here. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's a sign They're and everything. They're pretty serious about it. They even have like signs up and cited on... Yeah, they cited like the law. Chapter 8. Article 2, Section 8.202. D dogs. <laughs> it's like real serious, huh? I know. Like, I would be afraid that Waffle would be taken away or something. Yeah, right. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I guess it kind of makes sense that they would take it seriously because this town is kind of like a dog town. Yeah. And I mean, I think they can. I guess they really, really have to enforce you it. You can't really miss those signs. So they're everywhere. Yeah. They're like one yep. here. There's one. Like I already over there see too. several. Like on every entrance, this yeah. big red right Sign. in front of your face. It's all right. I mean, we'll just peek in and then see. And we'll just walk around the area. Too bad. This is actually a really good view. Yeah, it seems like a really nice park too, but maybe that's why there's no dogs. True. You know? Maybe the reason How why it's so nice. Dogs can be harmful to a park. I guess it I can know. be if they open to it. Yeah. I think it's really up to the, the owners to like really pick up their poop and like watch their dogs. Yeah. So maybe they should have parks with no people. This scenery really reminded me of, I, I don't remember. Stonehenge? Oh, the town. The uh, town. I can't remember the town, but when we went to Stonehenge in England, this is like the exact type of scenery yeah. where the sidewalks are kind of tiny and there's and then, a car. Yeah. And then it's kind of like small, narrow Curb. curves. Yeah, it's cute. We get it. No dogs at any time. Yeah, I feel like they might like castrate you if you uh, bring in a dog. <laughs> so right now we are kind of outside of like Prescott Park. Uh, yeah, Prescott Park, and we're crossing this bridge, which I think takes us to Pierce Island, which I believe has a like a dog park. So we're gonna probably check it out real quick. So we're at Pierce Island. <laughs> And I don't think it's just like a dog park. I think it's just the whole island. You can like let your dog roam free. Oh, really? Yeah. How'd you know? Uh, a lot of the Google reviews said that. <laughs> so I trust them. Okay. <laughs> Alpha. Alpha, go. 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 So I guess we'll just stay on the main trails, huh? Yeah, this is, this is actually very nice. There's no people at all. <laughs> it just seems so like secluded from like actual Portsmouth that I guess that's why there's no like, and it's a Tuesday, it's a Wednesday. True. This is a pretty nice area, huh? This is a really nice picnic area. Alrighty folks, so I think we are kind of done here at uh, Pierce Island and we're gonna head back to the car. It's about, what time is it? Well, it's three o'clock. Uh, I don't know exactly what we're gonna do now. It's okay, well first we're gonna go back to the car and then we'll decide. So we're here at the Strawberry Bank Museum. This is also another attraction that we should visit, but unfortunately they really don't allow dogs here either. Yeah, but I think it's seasonal um, from oh, especially right. like 
either April, May until October. It's like no dog, absolutely no dog. I and then know. I think they like open some areas for dog in a different season. Yeah, but like we're on the outside, so maybe that should be fine. So we're gonna kind of check it out. It seems really cool because like these are like all really old school houses. Let's see if we can at least go into a parking lot. So I decided to check out Prescott Park. Uh, kind of by myself, just to really quickly uh, before we go because I feel like it would be a shame just not to view it at least, like really quickly. Uh, Dora and Waffle are on the outside just, just waiting, uh, so I'll make this really brief. But I mean, this park is really nice. It's big. You get a really nice view of the water, huh? Yeah, you definitely get a really nice view of the Memorial Bridge from here, along with the, like, the lock fence at Brooklyn Bridge and, and stuff. I don't know what that building is though. Restroom maybe? It says the prop. Interesting. Oh, and again, I guess it is the bathroom. And then they have like a stage. That's pretty cool. I like the murals. Alrighty. So that ends our exploration of Portsmouth, New Hampshire and kind of Maine also. As you can see, there's actually a lot of things to do in this small, charming town. I especially like the downtown. It's a lot of cute shops and you can, it's kind of, you can kind of get everything that you needed. There's, there is cute gift shops, it's clothing stores, just all the local shops. Yeah. It definitely give you a, a, a break from like the city vibe. It's very calm. Um, and the weather is nice. I could see this is be a very good getaway for like a weekend. Uh, in the summer. So we hope this uh, video helps you guys out in terms of just finding things to do and just see what Portsmouth is about. And Portsmouth is super dog friendly. That too. That too. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to share and subscribe. We release videos every week. See you next week.